Actually, he was the reason that I went to Brazil because his poetry is so, so deep. And this song is about uh, a girl that he he was in love with her, but then uh, she started to doordraven. Say you that she she was the be most beautiful of the of the samba, but then suddenly um, she was not normal anymore, and then she only went to the to the to the parties and not anymore on the street. And actually, it's it's also telling like man, samba is from the street. It's from you know, from keep people. Keep it real. Keep it real, and and now she's only going to the dansa dasha, uh, only to the yeah, to the chic parties and stuff. And yeah, he's he's feeling lots of pain because of that. Can't you view? Can't you view? Yeah. Can't you view the one who saw you? Can't you view the one who see you now? I cannot recognize you anymore. Você era a favorita Onde eu era na instrução Hoje a gente nem se fala Mas a festa continua Suas noites são de bela Nosso sangue é na rua Quando o samba começava Se a gente se cansava, você só se via adiante Hoje a gente anda distante do calor do seu vingado Você só deixa bastante onde não sou convidado Hoje o sol a sair lá e a ver Procurando você
States that got really, as a Brazilian, got really famous. She had a lot of success, as and she was all dressed up with her with her uh, fruits uh, on on the head. And this song is Uva de Caminhão. It is really it had, makes no sense the lyric. It's about <laughs> all kinds of movies of, of, on the time, and she sang it actually to show how fast she could sing. <laughs> so it is really it's like it's a shoro. It's a shoro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a shoro. A shoro. So yeah. I thought I do it because I don't sing shoro. Let's with, with come, Elizabeth. Come inside. Come inside. Yeah, you can come sit. Come inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to do the shoro. There is a shoro. It's called. <laughs> Yeah. Uva de caminhão, from Assis Valente. Vai amado, vai amado, tum 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 tem a flores brancas nas cadeiras dela Andou dizendo que ganhou a falta de banda Abandonou a banda e o cara lá na canção Foi lançar o pinturito lá no grajão Caiu o pano da curva e quebrou as condições Apareceu branca de neve com os sete anões E na pensão da dona estrela foi uma família Quebra, quebra, gabo, nova, quebra, vida Já me disseram que você andou tentando sete Andou chupando muita uva e até de banda Agora anda dizendo que está de água no sítio Que não vai ter um pano em frente e vai fazer uma canção Oi que tem a flor esperando nas cadeiras dela Andam dizendo que ganhou uma flor de mundo Abandonou a água do canal na canção Se foi essa no pinto 
no lixo, lá no grajão Você no baile dos quarenta tem o que falar Canta no seu cara, no outro pra gente pintar Tira, 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 pra gente, deixa o pra gente falar E o monte tão a chupada, não adianta chupar Sim. 
mais. A experiência que a vida me traz, eu, se tenho medo, vou vivendo, eu sou capaz, eu sou sagaz. So, uh, tem uma intuição, uma certeza que não, nada é em vão. Sei, mas sei que nada sei, eu vou seguir o meu coração. Não sei se... Are there people that uh, understand Portuguese? No? <laughs> ok. So, I will never forget the experience that life uh, me brought. I have, um, I'm a f I have a fear, but I will, I will go live life. Uh, I am a, I'm able to do that. So, so guys, I'm clever. <laughs> I'm clever. I'm smart. I have an intuition, a a a certeza, a zekerheid, certainty, certainty that nothing is for nothing. I know, but I know that I don't know anything. Uh, I, I will. I will, uh, I will follow, follow my, my heart. heart. Yeah. Wow. And then there's a B part, but then you will feel it. Okay? <laughs> wow. Yes. <coughs> Betty, did you write it yourself? I yes. wrote this tune. Okay, the story of this tune. I wrote this tune <laughs> when I was coming back from a party in Marain's house. Uh, it was birthday of Marain, actually. Uh, Marain is a very nice guy, a friend of mine, director of the Brazilian school. And I was very inspired and I, I already wrote a song to Marai, you know, like I already wrote a show for him a long time ago. But I had a very nice conversation with his wife and I came back very inspired. So on the way biking, I had inspiration for this, for this music, yeah. Just in the music and then later I wrote the text. And I dedicated to Olga because I thought, you know, like I was thinking about her. I just came back from this party and had a very nice time. And she already heard this tune, she loved it. She also said it's her mantra. <laughs> it's also something to sing every day, you know, to believe it, you know. And, yeah, and it's called Sabedoria. Wisdom. Well, it's good. Lembra aí, lá, né? Aí, lá, lá. Lá.
Thank you. 
Dutch that went to Brazil and they, they stayed for, for a few years, only like 12, 12 years or 30 years with the with, uh, rest. But there was a Conde de Nação, it was uh, Mauricio de Nação, Maurice from, from Nassau. And he came there and he was kind of a visionary uh, guy and he brought all the best from the, the golden age we had, how the, how the, how the, how the eel. 
And so we, no. he, no. he, he took the best architects, the best painters, so, and he did a very important work there in the northeast of uh, Brazil. Which city? Uh, Recife. Recife. So he, 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 uh, he mapeou, uh, he, he brought in kaart, how do you say that in English? He mapped. Yeah, he ma so he, 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 the whole area, it has never been done before and after that also never so well. So he, they, 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 yeah. So it was very valuable uh, work, and they built a whole city, Recife. So when you, as a Dutch, uh, you come in Recife, and they do like, you Dutch guys, where are you going to live? But it's, 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 it's of course crazy, because if we, we would have stayed there, uh, they wouldn't have been better, I, I guess. But, but anyway, I started to have a project about the influence of the Dutch on the Brazilian culture. And you would say, like, what? that possible? That's crazy! But actually there is some influence and it's because uh, there happened a lot of things in that period. Um, Mauricio, he took for example the flout, <coughs> the flout to Brazil, the Tifano. And you have, it's, 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 it's scary, you have the, the Rio, Rio, the, the river, São Francisco, it's like this. And then up here the, the Dutch state. And they called Flamengos there, so because at that time we were not Holland, we were Flamengos. Yeah. And down the river, they didn't come here in this area. So what you see is the Banda de Pifano is exactly in this area of Brazil. It's the flout like this. Under the river, the flout is like this. Mm -hmm. And Mauricio, he studied, he studied in Balea, Balea Basel, in uh, Swiss. And in Switzerland, they took from the Turkish these little mm. Pifanus. And they took there and then, and he went to study there, and he took all the Mexonario Suisse. Yeah, I'm so used to, to, mm -hmm. to tell this story in Portuguese. The 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 Swiss soldiers, Oh, mm. Yeah. So all these uh, Swiss soldiers, they had this piano, so they took it on the boat and they took it there. So yeah, and this song and 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 in in uh, Karuaru. Uh, is, a, is an important city uh, in that area with the, for the Banda de Pifano. The Banda de Pifano is like a, is a band with only uh, bateria and the flout. So, and this song is no forró de San Joaninha in Caruaru. So it's in Caruaru, and therefore I, I took this song for the project. And now we're gonna do. Uh, you can read? And how, how how fast for them for the shakers to really participate or trying to yeah, or whatever you want to lay it is. Thank <laughs> you. 
classical music, dreaming to be a classical pianist, yeah, and play with Berlin symphony, you know, this kind of thing. Very naive. <laughs> I didn't know anything when I was 20. <laughs> but I knew a lot about Brazilian uh, classical music. Yeah. So I remember playing this in competition, and I was like, this part is very hard because I have to rest a lot in this prelude, you know, to play the next one. And I actually, the next one, Chopin knew, like, because even my teacher, my teacher is from Russia, so she's very good classical musician. So even her, she was like, yeah, actually these preludes, I don't know any pianist <laughs> that can play this prelude and say like, I'm fine. <laughs> you know, I think if you compare to sports, it's like lifting 100 kilos, you know, like, and be okay, you know. Like, it's very, very hard. But in the Radio Fear, so back to my story, I was listening to Radio Fear, was playing this prelude, and afterwards, it didn't play this prelude. It played some... on the prelude and I was like, I show Martin, Martin was like, listen, like, listen to this, this is so cool, someone was playing variations and then we were like, how, how we can find the, the yeah, composer? It's, that? it's not Radio V, but it's Concert Sender, it's made so yeah. so. yeah, but you have to enter the Tema Canal, yeah, Tema, Canal. Tema Canal, and then you find it, then I found, it's an Italian pianist, and this guy is from the beginning of 20th century, he wrote those variations, it's all written, because it starts like, Jazz and then some classical and then some Shostakovich, you know, like you know, sorts of variations, the BC, crazy, you know, it's like very, well, it's very inspiring, yeah. But yeah, I do this sometimes, I play sometimes classical music in other forms, you know. Okay.
it's a um, there's a there's a there's a vocalist in Brazil, and she did a lot of research research about all the indigenous uh, music, and um, yeah, it's very interesting CD, and I got inspired, and I tried to to get the same sound with my loop. So <laughs> yeah, so can I have a note? Oh, 